Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Brigadine. Alright, uh, we do have someone here to do send on quest. Almost forgot about him. Uh, we want... More stabs. Actually, accessories would actually be kind of nice at this point. Yeah, we'll just uh, send you on that. Alright, anyone idle? No. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna take a few risks here. And hopefully not do too bad. Right, you're up to 13,000. And that looks... I killed you, which means you probably had an Ambrosia on you and you used it. So good to know. Alright. This, this fight will get real ugly. It's not too bad overall. We don't have to worry about being nuked to the ground too much. Yeah, they bought a demon, a dragon, a goblin, and a ghoul. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. I say. They're at least down one Dark Knight. Yeah, they stayed. They may attack. This force might not be enough. But we do have water. So maybe we can make something happen. Alright, well while that's going on, what's going on here? Sophie the Sorceress. We got Maximilian. Umimaru. all these people. Okay. Well. I don't think there's anyone new to talk about here. There isn't. And then over here we got uh, Adu, the Berserker, head of the Mafia group known as the Kefarian that controls Morelva's underworld. Although he projects himself as a chivalrous bandit, he has countless crimes to his name. Since it an opportunity to make money, he decides to join Morelva's war effort. Although he sneers at human relationships built on honor and empathy, he is quite skilled in the finer points of social necessities and has his own reasons for joining the war as one of the United Islands representatives. Though he and Stella often quarrel, he finds her, her unwillingness to bend to his will quite endearing. And then... Down to seven bases. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing I can really do about Morelda. I think I'm just gonna start pounding away at Celicia at this, at this point. Try to get Rudo to break off to something else. Alright, so if we take over this, they'll take care of the last of um, the Gustavan Empire. And we'll start making a push towards pirate territory. And the unit that takes over this area, I can shift over to here and start going through the, the back here. Or I can send them back here to cover uh, for the pirates. Which is probably what I'll do. That way I can start pushing this way. See if we can make something happen. All right, in phase. Make 
you go first. Oh, I didn't read about their characters. I won't do that uh, in the battle. I think there's at least one that we haven't seen before. Not even going to look at lo locations. The Sword of Ong, we fight for the glory of Guimole. I see that this battle is in need of my wisdom. Very well, I shall oblige. I didn't even look at their levels. Uh, level 15 bishop, level 7 mage, and a level 12 healer. One of the military strategists of Man of Silesia's war Holy Watchmen, originally a believer in Muhammad, he quickly... He quickly converted to, uh, to Zai when Rudeo started marching. Always the opportunist, he licks the boots of those above him. What he has is not religious faith, but an obsession with protecting himself. He plays the part of a loyal subject so perfectly that few, uh, very few people understand his true nature. Alright, so we got a coward, and then we got Titania, the healer. Tomboy, who had, was born into a Manislesian nobility. She first charged onto, onto the battlefield to per in pursuit of a knight she had fallen in love with. In the past, she was censured for healing both enemies and allies on the battlefield, but Holy Sovereign Romanov found her actions noble and pardoned her, even appointed her as his aide. Though the knight she was chasing uh, has escaped, her deep sense of humanity makes her stay on the battlefield anyway, healing anyone needing treatment. All right. Stomp, stomp, stomp. That's right, run away scared. He literally just ran into the forest. Well, he is blind, so maybe he just got lost. Yeah, that's fine. Go there. Oh wow, I can just kill whoever I want here. Boink. Really? That 
so much for a guy being obsessed with protecting himself. He just charged right in there. I mean, if he hit, he would have done like 20 damage. Okay. Uh huh. Burn. Accurate attacks. Suppose I can just move. Just start killing your units like this. Angel. Can't move anywhere. Nope. That's okay. Probably run away, which is unfortunate, but not a big deal. All right, so what can I make happen? I have Gino Frost. 124 damage. About 113. That's going to be just short of enough damage. Could do curse instead. Could also just focus him down since honestly the other enemies don't really matter that much.
Nice. Fina Frost. Holy word, huh? Good to see you're sticking around then. He'll probably get healed by the other one then. It'd be funny if she ran away. Uh, actually, area heal. Nope, just regular heal. Okay, so she's sticking around. That's one target, huh? Okay, then they're all dead. All of them. Bye bye, unicorn. Ah, Finriars. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten one. Oh, you're out of juice. I thought you had enough for another breath. Well then. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're surprisingly resilient. Okay. Let's finish you off. I suppose my conceit has resulted in this defeat. Oh, I should have killed the golem. I thought that was a different. I thought that was for someone else. All right. Just making mistakes all over the place now. Punch. Four damage. Huh? 
Good enough for me. How could I not hear? Level 18. Bye-bye. Yeah, plus 30 to uh, evasion in their own base. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Retreat. Alright. Do not be content with today's victory. I'm not, I'm not. Level 18, level 10. Looking pretty good. So yeah, I, I don't think I've seen a Fenrir ever. I'm trying to remember. So yeah, originally, like I mentioned before, a while back, um, instead of high dogs, there was there were hellhounds that are, um, and then they would upgrade into Fenriers, and the Fenriers would have the breath attack. I don't actually. I think the the hellhounds also had a breath attack, though it wasn't very good. All right, going after these guys next. Uh, they have a gremlin, everything, and that's about it. Sea serpents can be a bit dangerous, and there's also an angel. And then the units themselves are all pretty strong. Boop, boop. Uh, we do have water, technically. Off we go. You go to there, huh? I'm surprised this elementals lived so long. Say hi. Nope. Unfortunately, it's not very much water to play with. So we kind of need to shift upwards if we really want to put it to use. After one of you guys, huh? He only has a regular attack coming in. Uh, but yes, yeah, Stella. You're coming in as well. Okay. 
願いします。Do something like this. There we go. Come say hi. Nice. Glad I didn't put you in roads. We're probably gonna lose these high dogs, but they're just here to be bait. In fact, if they die, I'll feel less bad when I hit them with a meteor. Alright. So, let's start with uh, weakness on you. Get the flank on. God, that's some damage. This counter attack bonus is just ridiculous. I almost rather just fight you from a distance. It does just as good, and I don't get counterattacked. I buy you. When is when is expected? All clumped up for me. Alright, thank you for the kill. You're not half bad. Level 16, and Sea Serpent. Alright, question is this, who do I go after next? I might as well just start pelting away at Stella. I'm not going to starve them out of mana, so might as well just get more useful kills. Dark Breath. Also, I should have done Weakness first. I can hit you with a curse or I can go straight to Meteor Doom. Which honestly does pretty good damage. This elemental's been alive for way too long.
I would hit my own unit. And it wouldn't really kill that, so yeah, I'm fine with just doing this. Okie You have enough for a grand wave. Destruction. Well, the good news is I'm pretty much guaranteed to get killed then. Not. Oh no, resist on the wrong target. Good. Alright, no surprise there. We lost both uh, high dogs. And we have a barrage of turns between one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, Water's definitely not going to help at this point. So how do I want to do this? She goes next. Does she have enough for Geno Frost? She does. She has enough for Geno Frost. In that case, Gina Frost will not quite kill. And I don't have enough for a breath attack. kill as many of them as possible, so that's why I'm trying to take a count here. Let's go for the guaranteed. Well, I do at least 105. 
No, it's not enough. All right. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. Gina Frost. Psychic Collar acquired. And a Command Helm. I won't lose next time. Bye bye. Level 24 Witch. Okay, not bad. Killed all of our monsters except for that ghoul. Didn't really get to go after the gremlin at all, but that's fine. And we lost uh, two high dogs. Alright. Finish off Gustava. Okay, so they have like weird cliff things that you can't stand on with this map. And we don't need to worry about water because we're not using any uh, sirens in this team. But yeah, that little ramp there is actually kind of a pain to deal with. It functions pretty similar to the castle walls. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot defeat me, you lack both heritage and conviction. I wonder about that. Can you get... how far can you get? To there. Okay. So you can safely get to there. off on using my high centaurs as bait. I don't think they're going to charge the bottleneck. I mean, if they did, that will make my life a lot easier. How much do you need? Fourteen twenty-eight. All right. Okay. Archangels do have access to heal if they if they need it. Go be bait. Let's see how his martial arts does against a, a, a volley of arrows. Can you come say hi? Yes! Okay, you did hit. But I was able to counter. Good.
90% accurate. Taking him out early. I have zero complaints. Do have complaints about that though. So no one else should be able to reach me, right? Besides him. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and shift up then. That's gonna be a pain. I should have probably cast a spell instead. Cause I don't think I have enough tax to do what I want to do. Nice crit. So what are you looking at right now? Just a little bit more. In that case, let's do... Let's do a Dragon Roar. I want to guarantee I get this kill. Oh, you can move. That's super risky, though. Let's uh, let's just hang back. Hundred percent accurate. There you go. And now she'll level up at the end of this if I win. I mean, what could go wrong? Okay, those steps are hopefully going to protect me for a bit. Plink. I might need to fall back. But we'll see. So here's a question. So I can hit you with three of these. That won't be enough to kill. Iron or Ice Curus. Only 25% chance of hit because of the 50% immunity. I 
Yeah, I'd rather do thunders to be honest. Since I won't get killed anyway. Ow. That stung. Okay, that's fine. All the way from there, huh? Yep. I might actually lose her. Because, yeah, he's gonna move in. Oh my god. And of course he missed. He had one job. Yeah, that's gonna finish her off. So, there goes my dragons. How could this happen? Oh wow, they both failed to escape. That is bullshit. Alright. Okay. Calamity breath. Just stay in place. Uh, magic. Holy word. My target is, of course, him. Because I need to win this battle so I can keep my uh, dragons. 57% chance to hit. Of course. Never misses. Gaga shot. Level 20 sniper. Sixty-nine percent. Come on, game. Give me something. Thank you. You should be fine now. Do I even want to bother trying to kill anything else? This would do... How much would Thunder do to that guy? Down to 334. 3 3 So, 222. Yeah, it's not enough. I'm not gonna worry about it. And I don't have enough for a fancy Geno Frost. the frost I cast earlier. Okay, only thing I can kill is that goblin. First things first, react on you. Should have enough for another spell, you do. Okay, Frost. That worked out. And got a Dark Dragon, okay. Now we're talking. I pretty much had to run up, though. I didn't really have much of an option. I mean, I... Yeah, I didn't have much of an option. If I hadn't ran up, um... They would have went after my sorceress instead, and I don't think she would have survived the hit.
But now we're done with them. Holy Gustave Empire was erased from the histories of Runicia. And you don't get a break of because I didn't have one. Restored page, Gustava after the fall. Runicia, year 781, season 20. The Holy Gustava Empire was erased from the history of Runicia. When the empire collapsed, its people scattered to the far corners of the continent. They were defeated as soundly as they uh, were, were during the Gustav incident, putting an end to the, uh, to the family once and for all. However, there are some who still b believe remnants remain, hiding under a false name, plotting their return to power. Whatever the truth of the matter may be, one knight who fought against him in his final battle left behind a message. My fellow knights, through our exchange of blows, I came to understand my foe. Though many were unable to see past his country's poor history, he was far from deserving of our pity. On the contrary, he comported himself uh, with the utmost nobility. I shall remember his name until my final breath. Tim Gustav. Though he was only uh, was, though he was the only one without a brigadine, Tim Gustav managed to build an empire capable of standing on equal footing with the other great nations. Though his time may have been short, the story of his deeds was passed down from one generation to the next, spreading across all of Runicia. So yeah, it's implied that he died. After the arrival of a courier from the Rune Knight Council, Eliza's unit made a swift return to the capital. Sugar, who had arrived ahead of the unit, came out to greet them. <laughs> hurrah, hurrah! Welcome home, Ellie! What's all this now? Why were we summoned back? Most tiresome. These stubborn old fools in the council likely took Kane's report at face value and ca called us back to quibble over our every move. With all due respect, Elder Bois, I merely dispatched an accurate report regarding the condition of the front lines. Come now, no need to fight amongst yourselves. Why is it that grown men get so defensive so easily? Such impertinence, young lady. <laughs> well, Sugar, where have we been summoned to? Why, the presidential office in the council hall, of course. But why? Here, vanguard of the Republic of Guimole, known across the, the land as Eliza Infantry, led by Eliza, Eliza Zala. Study reports of your accomplishments on the field have been well received here at the Council of Guimole. Council representatives' faces seemed clouded with tension as he read the edict to Eliza uh, and her unit before the presidential office. The detailed recount of the squad's accomplishments by the council was quite the surprise for the for a group that had always been vocal with regard to the council's antiquated mode of thinking. It was apparent that the, the Eliza's infantry exploits had greatly improved their standing before the council. Yeah, I beat up that those two same uh, locations over and over again. Therefore, it is with great pleasure uh, that we hereby appoint Eliza Ozala to the office of president in the highest order of the Rune Knights of the Republic of Guimole. It can't be. M Miss Eliza, you've done it. Congratulations, Miss Eliza. Tch, what a bunch of senile fools. Kane, the council has acknowledged Miss Eliza as president. You will take care with your words in the future. Miss Eliza, it is a great gift from God. Thank you, Darian. Or Darian, sorry. But what? The Sword of Ong? Oh, it is just as Darian has said, the Moi Ong sisters are pleased with Eliza's appointment as president as well. Eliza had finally been recognized as the true master of the Sword of Ong. My congratulations, Miss Eliza. Th thank you. I, I suppose this means that my father will... Come, Miss Eliza, we should deliver your, this news to your father. Oh, 
President Alden, it is as you desire. Miss Eliza has become the President of the Republic of Buimole in both name and deed. Eliza's father, Alden Ozala, let out a, a final feeble breath before falling completely silent. It is as if he had finally been liberated from the heavy uncertainty that had been bound him to this world. Father. He has smiled. What? It's true, the president smiled. Did you see it just now? Oh, father. I am cer certain President Elgin must have been both relieved and overjoyed at finally being able to pass the torch over to Miss Eliza. Now. He can finally rest in peace. Yes, it is as the great rune, rune god willed it. He has achieved freedom at last. Freedom. Ara est... Cave Lea. Huh? What are you talking about? Freedom will surely come. Well, Miss Eliza, I did not know you were familiar with ancient Barret. Darian, play that Valera with such a fury that its melody of freedom may reach beyond this world to my father. Father. My father has found freedom, but he is not gone. Just the same as always, he will remain by my side. Isn't that right, father? And thus, Eliza Izala, following in her father's footsteps, was named the ruler of, Repub of the Republic of Guimole. Eliza class uh, has been changed to Rose Valkyrie. The Sword of Ong transformed into the Sacred Blade of Moi Onga. Restored page, the five brigadine. In a time before kingdoms, five young travelers arrived at the foot of the ruined mountains. They were in search of the legendary glowing mana stone, said to rest in the spring of mana, a fountain that overflowed with mana power. Rumor had it that wielding a mana stone would grant the wearer magnificent powers, wealth, and the fame that was beyond imagining. However, not far from this fountain was the home of a magical beast so tall that it pierced the sky known as Endorian. And so it happened that many of the young travelers who left in search of a mana stone never returned. But as luck would, ha uh, would have it, each of the five travelers found a mana stone of their own right before Endorian attacked. The travelers raised the glowing stones above their heads, and all at once, Endorian's fiery breath was repelled before being completely extinguished. As the young travelers returned home, each carried back one of the five mana stones and embedded the stones into a treasured piece of armor or accessory. Eventually, each of these special pieces of armor came to be known as brigadines, before being given their own unique names, justice, sanctity, freedom, glory, and ego. People came to believe that as long as the five brigadines were around, their sacred land of Runicea would prosper forever. We took over three locations, so we're getting a lot of story bits. Because we're hitting all the thresholds. Miss Eliza, the Holy Gustava Empire has fallen. Their knights wish to join our ranks. I am Skir Miris. The family I once served, my troops, everyone is gone. People have started calling me the God of Death. And now Gustava is gone as well, so perhaps they are right. Heh. <laughs> I see the curiosity growing in you. You want to know if the rumors are true, don't you? Let me join you and you can find out yourself. Skimerius is now an ally. The name's Sylvie. My favorite thing to do is search through old ruins. Unfortunately, my old place of business is gone. There's not enough, even enough left to call their city a proper ruin either. And so, since I'm trying to, I'm still trying to explore the other ruins of Vernicia. I guess I'll be working for you now. Oh, and I nearly forgot. I'm especially good at taming Talon too. Get Sylvie. Uh, 
Hey, come on, hold on a second. The nation that took me in it, it has fallen. I have nowhere else to go. I'm worthless. But I can't let it in like this. I have to be on the winning side. You want to win too, don't you? Then use me, please. This is the first time I've even seen you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Name's Lionel. The folks I've been working for went belly up before I could earn as much as I wanted. And I can't return to the countryside poor. Think you might have a use for my skills? Think of it as an act of mercy to ones who, uh, who's fallen on hard times. How about it? Lionel has now an ally. So there you go, we got four more knights. Swift Knuckles, White Edges, a Magic Potion, a free Pegasus, Speed Potion, Silver Pearl, Green Noble Hat. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and go over the new guys we got real quick. Also while we're at it. So, Blade of Molong, as you can see, it's a bit more, a bit stronger now. Um, and now she has her other abilities now. So Scarlet Shudder is a little bit stronger now, and then she's got Crimson Rondo. Um, increases own agility for a limited number of times, and it never misses. And then, of course, she also has access to um, Exa Blast, which is essentially um, Fallberg but fire. It's also, it's essentially like Divine Ray Curse and uh, Fallberg, but instead it's the fire element. It does quite a bit of damage, but it's short range. And uh, I... definitely curious about this guy. I don't even know what he gets. Gets a better breath attack, it looks like, and gets better evasion. Alright, well, I'll have to figure out if, he, if I can even get room for him. Anyway, uh, we got another Temple Knight. Uh, this female knight has lived a checkered life, bringing destruction to every master she served, even noble houses. The series of unfortunate coincidences turned into fearful rumors that she possessed the power to destroy entire nations. The fall of Gustava only served to make people fear her all the more. Unfamiliar and uncomfortable with independence, she now serves a new master. No one has ever seen her face, but rumors say she is a great be she is a great beater beauty beneath her visor. Another archer, always nice. I can even give you a holy thunder bow. Here you go. Alright, enjoy. Also, since you since we're here, I can give you scale mail. Technically, I can give you this, too. Did I give you a... I never did. Oh, well, I won't worry about it. Sorry, I'm checking. It's gonna drive me nuts if I don't find out. Okay. Here you go, command helmet. Okay. Um, I'll go over the other characters real quick. Sorry, I'm going over time here. Units. Uh, Sylvie. An adventurer who travels around Gustava's wild lands on her talent. Oh yeah, we've read about her. Uh, Hughes. He is a uh, ranger. We haven't really messed much with ranger classes. Um, they actually have some really kind of unique things where they can actually pull units towards them, uh, which can help break up formations. A rogue who lives in a sleazy slums at the border of the Norzalia kingdom. Life is harsh there and is, he has never known human kindness, which causes him to become an inconsiderate and cruel person. He continues to prey on others despite awakening to his mana powers and reluctantly joins the military force when urged to follow the chivalrous path of a knight. Will he ever be completely uh, be able to completely leave his life of stealing behind? Lionel, 
He is a thief who moves about from town to town. Although born a noble of Guimole, he found the formal and stiff life of an aristocrat repugnant and ran away from home at a young age. His curiosity led him down a, pa a life of crime. Watching people's reactions to his deeds thrills him, and this also gives him the ability to understand the subtle changes in people's emotions. When Lionel realizes uh, people are smiling less, his curiosity drives him to put an end to the war which is causing their unhappiness. Alright, um, off screen I will probably be shuffling some units around and uh, reorganizing as necessary. Um, just to save a little bit of time. But here's the map. As you can see, we're kind of engulfing the entire continent now. Um, pro I will probably try to crush the um, the Solisians next, because uh, they're kind of the biggest threat. Um, the pirate, uh, I mean, the pirate is definitely dangerous, but she's not something we're, we're more than used to fighting her at this point. Uh, yeah, Stella. They got another Titan, apparently. Alright, yeah, they're definitely getting stronger, but they don't seem to be... Despite that, they just have a huge pool of mana, so me beating up on them doesn't really do anything uh, to hinder them, because they just we create all the monsters with no issue. And that just has to do with the fact they don't really have to cover as many bases. Alright, well, until then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm the Depressed Dio, this is Brigadine. I'll see you guys later.